In this video, I'm going to share you a roadmap for SQL to become a data analyst with just nine to 10 weeks of practice. Let's get started right away. So we'll start with SQL basic topics. One week duration is more than enough for this. So here you need to know like select statement, how to select single column, multiple columns from a table, how to use the var clause to filter data. Then you need to know the and or operator when you want to give and condition or condition. This is basically when it comes to multiple conditions, knowing and and or clause helps. Then like operator, this is for pattern matching, string matching. Let's say you want to find country starting with a particular letter like A, ending with N. In all these cases, like operator is very powerful as well. Then we have the between operator. This is super useful when you want to find data which is between certain numbers or between certain dates. Here between clause is very powerful. Then you have in. In is super powerful as well. When you want to give multiple conditions, you can put it in single line using in operator. Then group by to aggregate data. Let's say you want to find the total clicks for a particular campaign, then a group by operator can be super useful in that case. Then having clause is again very important. It's also used to filter data, but filter data on aggregated column calculations. So it's a little bit different from the where clause. So keep that in mind. Then obviously master the order by clause, ascending order, descending order, super useful to sort your data. Once you're done with the basic topics, you can move on to intermediate topics. I've given it a timeline of two weeks. It's pretty achievable. Start with the case statement. When you want to give multiple filters and conditions, case statement can be super powerful. Do explore that. And then there is joins. Suppose you want to join two or three tables from different places. Joins is the place to go. No left join, right join, in a join. What are the differences and all that? Then you have union and union all. These are called set operators. Again, super powerful. Know their use cases. This can also be used to append data of two tables, one below the other. Then you have string functions. In my opinion, pretty interesting when you're dealing with string data, left function, find function, how to like locate something, all these are super useful. Then you have date functions, how to format dates, how to show year, month, year, month and date. All these things are pretty crucial. On top of that, knowing date add, date subtract, date difference, this can be super useful as well. Then we have create, alter, insert into and drop. These are mostly from creating table perspective, but it's pretty interesting to know them how to create a table, how to, you know, insert values into your table. All these can be super powerful as well. Once you're done with the intermediate topics, you can move on to the advanced topics. Advanced topics basically consists of subqueries, how to use a subquery, when to use a subquery, then window functions. In window functions, know the use case of window functions. What is the over class? What is partitioned by all this is important to know. Then you move on to specific use case of window function like lag lead to find previous year versus this year value, this year versus next year value, all that. Then you have rank, dense rank, row number, how to evaluate these three and what are the differences in the calculation between these three. It's a very common interview question. So know that. Then advanced window functions, some more topics include first value, last value, something to do with percent rank or percentiles. Go through them as well if you have time. Then we come to more like repetitive operations. Stored procedures is a super example of that. So you want to run like same type of query again and again, you can write a stored procedure and save it. Then we come to query optimization. Query optimization obviously also includes using with clause or we call it CTE. So when to use with clause, when to use subquery, these kind of things, little bit peculiar stuff. So learn that as well. I've given this a timeline of two weeks, but if you need more practice, take an extra week. Three weeks is totally fine for advanced topics. Once you're done with all this, obviously go and practice, right? So we have lead code, hacker rank, strata scratch and data lemur. These are all fantastic platforms to practice SQL questions from easy to medium to hard. Data Lemur, in fact, has questions from Google, Amazon, Apple and other companies as well. Top tech company SQL questions. Then we have data with Danny eight week case study challenge. Absolutely fantastic. It has case study challenge and projects on food data, e-commerce data, marketing data, bank transaction data. If you do all that, you'll become really comfortable with SQL. Fantastic practice. So many questions. Then we have Alex, the analyst, the best YouTube channel for SQL, I would say. It has basic, intermediate and advanced topics, theory, then some specific projects as well. 
Then we have Tech TFQ and Ankit Bansal. These two channels are more for intermediate to advanced. Once you're done with the practice, they have a lot of scenario questions that these YouTube channels have solved. Go through that really interesting as well. If you've got until this point, my channel also has a lot of playlists related to SQL. I have SQL basic tutorials as you can see. I've covered the, you know, all the basic topics more or less. Then we also have some intermediate topics on window functions. Then some 28 scenario questions asked in like fan companies, tech companies, SQL scenario questions. Then I've also solved, solved some Danish dinner SQL case study challenges. Then some specific window function use cases, topics and projects as well. One more project on Swiggy data. One more project on Alex the Analyst YouTube channel analysis data using SQL. Go through some of these SQL projects as well. We have some six SQL projects here. So once you do all this, you can also solve some data lemur problems from my YouTube channel and then some lead code problems as well. So we have a mix of a lot of these videos. Go through all this and I'm pretty sure in nine to 10 weeks, you can get pretty good at SQL. Of course, you can't master it, you will need practice, but you can get through an interview even in a top company. I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more such roadmaps and interesting videos. Till then, take care. Let me know which is the most favorite function for you in SQL. I'll see you again.